All we do is movies. Donnie. Noel. We're here. We did it. We're back from vacation. We 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 went there and we're back. Now we're here. And we then we saw a n- new movie out. What did we see? What did we see? Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Woo! The fifth Jurassic Park movie. Second Jurassic World movie. Isn't that interesting? That's very interesting. They're making so much money. I know. It's crazy. Okay. What do we do now? Now, we're each going to say five words that um, about Jurassic World without spoiling anything. Donnie, go. Popcorn. Toothy. Toneless. Loud. Dinosaurs. Um, exciting. Money. Dark. Nostalgia. Did I say five? <laughs> wow, those were some f- words, all right. Yeah. I don't know. I think overall, without spoiling it, I would say Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is a fun popcorn movie. Uh, the dinosaurs are the best part. Uh, a lot of dinosaurs, if you like dinosaurs, and, and we all do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I went. Uh, it's toneless in a way because it, it doesn't know if it wants to be a horror movie or a really dumb comedy. <laughs> like some of the jokes are pretty dumb, but some of the horror scenes are pretty effective. But it doesn't really know what it wants to be. Obviously, it was made to make a bunch of money and apply to the biggest audience as humanly possible. And it's really living off the nostalgia of... This <laughs> Jurassic Park. Personally, all I gotta say about it, spoiler free, is when are white people gonna learn that dinosaurs are dangerous? True. That's all I gotta say. Well, come back for spoilers. Spoiling Jurassic Park World Dinosaur Kingdom Fallen Kingdom. Okay, Donnie, how yeah. did you really feel about Jurassic World? Well, I do like dinosaurs, and there's a lot of dinosaurs in this, and I enjoyed them all. Even the made-up ones that, for some reason, they keep making dinosaurs, and that, that is one thing that I think, oh, man, I really do want to like this movie a bunch, but the, the s- story is just so all over the place. And there's so many other good movies that they could have spent an hour and a half, you know, going over instead of like just throwing a bunch of stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks with this. But I did think I agree with you on the dinosaurs part. And it had me at the very beginning with the. Yeah, that was the best part. Yeah, that was terrifying. The whole beginning. Yeah. I was like, I really hope this is the rest of the movie because. But of course it wasn't. But I really hope that it was um, because just I love. um so you see the people underwater get eaten. Right. And there's the guy, and they're like, get back to the chopper! Which, yeah. if anytime someone's yelling at you from a chopper while you're on a dino island, you don't listen to what they're saying. Just run, you know? Right. And then you think he's going to make it! And then they play the music like he's going to make it, and he died. <laughs> yeah. It was great. No, that, was, that scene was the best scene in the movie by far. Wouldn't yeah. you like... Uh, and that is my big, probably my biggest problem with the movie is that it is like i said before the the only word that came to mind was toneless because it couldn't pick yeah and obviously that's to play it safe to make 700 million dollars opening weekend at the box office so it makes sense good for them it worked perfectly but that first scene was it almost seemed like a different director shot yeah it looks and that's what makes me think steven spielberg directed that scene (gasps) i it felt like that is the only scene that felt like Jurassic Park, and and it looked like it was shot like Jurassic Park too. Yeah, it was. It, like whenever you don't want to waste money and cheapen your movie with shots of CG dinosaurs that are still obviously CG, you hide everything. You hide the CG in rain and darkness, like they've always done, mm-hmm. and that's what makes it effective and scary. 
And yeah, I thought the the first scene was I, after I saw the first scene, I thought it was that's what we were going to see the rest of the movie, and that's what I was hoping for. But then it turned into like this weird, you know, uh, I guess action adventure thing, saving dinosaurs and the weird romantic subplot that doesn't like mean anything like who cares really like they didn't even need chris pratt and bryce ellis howard like i would have been happy with the basically the dinosaurs are like we missed all the part on the island with the volcano and then we're basically at starting with the auctions like the dinosaur or those auctions already happened with the dinosaurs and like we are living currently in a world where somehow dinosaurs are like loose and no one knows about it because some crazy billionaire has a t-rex or something that's running around or like a triceratops gets loose and we don't know why and then we sort of show they have to make a number three though well yeah but that's yeah, the thing now like that's the why <laughs> like if you're setting up the next movie and the next movie is a lot cooler than the movie you just made that's not fair <laughs> that's like all the recent star wars ones they make a a decent new one. And they're like, oh, now we're gonna go backwards, and then they make a like kind of decent new one. They're like, oh, we gotta I'm gonna give you something else to mull over. Yeah, they're just pumping out that money train. Like I real, I wish that it went from that first shot and then kept that tone yeah. the whole way through. And not saying you can't have comedy. There were comedic moments that would have worked in that setting, just like the original Jurassic Park. Like Chris Pratt had some good one-liner things, you know, like. Yeah, you know, if I don't come back, you're the basically the reason why I'm here. You know, yeah, there's there some joke like that, and it, you know, that would have fit. But like the snot on the T-Rex, like getting oh, stuck, and he's like, yeah, "Whoa, what the heck?" And it's just yeah. like, what is this movie? Because then they're also trying to make that. So they're not only trying to make that scene like slapsticky, goofbally comedy, but it's also trying to build up the tension of are these people going to get eaten um so also i had a problem well i didn't have a problem but i noticed that it was really uh politically charged as a film of course do you notice whenever they had that uh intelligent sassy asian <laughs> paleontologist veterinarian she was her name cool. was rodriguez oh <laughs> something <laughs> rodriguez i don't know I don't know. I think her I'm real name is Daniela Panetta. Then what was she? I, I would assume she's Latin of some mixed up mixed up a bunch and some well, sort of like Latin the jar. And the crop haircut. Unless she's from the Philippines. Anyway, so she had like said something. She's on a car and she says something sassy to, to the, the guard. To the obviously conservative white man. Right. Who has a, like an obsession with pulling teeth out of dining. He's like, this is going to look nice on my necklace. Like he just wants to I mean, that would have been a cool necklace. Okay, but. You wouldn't want a dinosaur tooth necklace? I could like jingle it right now. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, but. If they sold that at Forever 21, you'd buy it. Just like all this stuff, Forever. Oh, just stuff. Sponsor Forever 21. You have to pay us now. That's how that works. <laughs> they already do pay me. That's the problem. <laughs> anyway, so she says something sassy to this conservative guard, and he closes the door, and he's like, well, that's one nasty woman. Right. Obviously upset Hillary didn't win. And then what else? Like, they had to be, say like, <laughs> in, what's his name? Chris Pratt? Nah, n- the other B. one. B.D. Wong? No. Who's the one that everyone knows? Jeff Goldblum? Yeah. So he had like his whole speech at the end, which I thought his speech was effective at the end because yeah. I liked the little, like if they could have just cut to like his speech after being on that island and then shown all the dinosaurs like in Earth or whatever, you know, that little snapshot. Like I thought that was a cool montage, you know, like showing the surfers and the wave yeah. and getting eaten. Yeah. So, but his speech was obviously like we're getting overrun by all. What was it? Authority. Oh, it was, was about political governments right. taking over. Yeah, like oligarchies or something taking over. Right. Yeah. So obviously, yeah. it just took took me out of being in a world that's overrun by dinosaurs, and now I have to understand that it's also a world that's suffering from the current political climate that we are and i just like don't want to have that reminder when i'm trying to escape and do a cool movie about dinosaurs you don't need to remind me that trump is president and we're all in trouble like just can leave that out that's fine with me 
Yeah. yeah. No, I I thought that I mean it made sense what he was talking about, but um yeah, you don't need to have that in a in a movie about dinosaurs at all. Just make your speech uh, it just like reminded me like that I was still on earth, you know? Like I just right. wanted to be in a fantasy. Every everything has to be politicized now. That's that's what you do, I guess. But I I think that first why that first sequence on the island really didn't work so well and is completely unnecessary. You can allude to that in just quicker overall, like allude to that even quicker. Wait, which sequence on the island? The whole saving the dinosaur stuff and, and, uh, and yeah. everyone's in danger. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's 10 minutes into the movie, Chris Pratt and or Bryce Dallas Howard aren't, aren't going to die because they have to be in, yeah. they're contractually obligated to be in the next movie so there's no stakes and then all the little assistants that they uh you know introduce in the movie which you know they're fine but like they don't really there's no stakes to that either because they i mean that they never even come close to getting killed really like they don't really get injured even i think the only person that gets injured is bryce dallas howard at one point, right? How does like she get it? Oh, she the gets the thing that you know, gets yeah. the velociraptor, big velociraptor thing in in her leg, and it's barely anything. I'm just like, they almost made this like a PG movie. Even when the guy got his arm bitten off. Yeah, like where is the blood? I want to see a really dinosaur weird. film about you ripping guts and like bones. And yeah, there's there's <sighs> barely any yeah like stakes at all. Like the whole. And that's why I don't think they even need to show that whole vol volcano eruption saving dinosaur sequence because, like, they really didn't even run into any problems at all. No. Like, that their whole operation went off perfectly. They even had dinosaurs taken and shipping off before they even got to the island. <laughs> so it's like, why do you even need to show it then? Like, nothing Well, they had really to show happened. it so that you could... You could be reminded that Chris Pratt and Blue have a bond. That's the only reason, because Blue right. is going to come and say. But they the remind day you later. that a billion more times throughout the movie. Oh, so only yeah. only use one of the five times they remind you that Chris Pratt is like a crazy dinosaur whisperer. Even the dinosaur he's never even met before, the the ramming dinosaur, he's yeah. able to like tame and under become best friends with it immediately. And that's what it would have been cool, too. Maybe it's a different movie, but maybe they'll set... Well, I guess they really can't necessarily set it up. But it would have been cool if, like, the Jurassic World stuff happened it's years later, and then the dinosaurs are slowly, like, getting out somehow, and they have to figure out why they started escaping or, like, who's behind this rather than show the entire efforts of setting up this whole system of auctioning off dinosaurs... Maybe that just already happened, and then you learn that through another word that could have described this was exposition, right? Yeah. The exposition was crazy in this movie. Like, especially the one thing that comes to mind is that they're like, "You're a clone, little girl." Oh <laughs> yeah. Like, Why does that? Wait, you're gonna now just talk about this in the hallway of like where dinosaurs are actively like roaming around? You have enough time to stop. You and then Breakdown's like, well, you is. are uh, not a little, a real little girl. You're a clone li little girl, just like the dinosaurs are clones. And you're just like, why? Who can't? Like, we saw the picture of the exact same kid, and like, you can, you could have had her discovering that in the cloning room in the lab that she snuck into and do the same exact thing, like her realizing it. And then it's one more effective, but also she didn't need to be in the movie anyway. Except yeah. to be Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard's adopted baby now. But also, you <laughs> can tell immediately that, her? like, when she's... I just hate whenever you can obviously tell the things that are going to be, like, big moments. Like, obviously, this little girl is standing at the top of the steps, and Bryce Dallas Howard has to look back and be like, "Is there? A, does he have a daughter, too? Like, she has an obsession with daughters this whole time. Yeah. Every congresswoman she calls, everyone, do you have a kid? Do you want them to see the dinosaurs live or die? Like, this kid doesn't care because he already knows that dinosaurs are extinct. Like, just remind them that dinosaurs went extinct. And that was another big problem. Not a big problem. I keep saying that because I like to aggrandize things. There was another issue that I had was that so many people on Earth or in all the whatever countries that were people populated, there were like protests to save the dinosaurs. Right. But what? 
Why? They went extinct. They're very dangerous. They're right. going to kill you. They will eat you. Well, they are the one thing you should be afraid of. Yeah. Why would you be like protesting to say because well, that that's another thing that was like hard to suspend your disbelief of was like, like it does make sense that if this was a world where they, you know, if you can't brought back dinosaurs and woolly mammoths and things like that. Uh, but and then they were all supposed to, you know, they're going to die from a volcano blowing up, I guess. Uh, yeah, there'd be some people protesting. You think and so? Yes, of course. Yeah. But because uh, just at that point you could consider them endangered species and yeah, but they and every now and then someone will hold a sign up for a, a rhino. But I rhinos mean, aren't going to eat you alive. They're not well, like skyscrapers tall. Right. Yeah. No. Uh, They're not flying pterodactyls that are yeah. going to pick you off. They saw the carnage that happened at the amusement park Jurassic World. Right. They should know how scary it is to have dinosaurs. Right. And that's what the weird suspension of disbelief didn't happen because they. Like, at the, you're supposed to believe, like, it's cool that dinosaurs are now loose. <laughs> like, you're the spoiler at the very end. They, like, they let the dinosaurs go. The little clone girl is so attached to these dinosaurs because she just figured out she was a clone yeah. 20 minutes ago, maybe. And now all of a sudden she's releasing these super predator, just monsters into the like uh i don't know where are they at southern california at this northern point california. Oh, they're in northern california northern california oh okay yeah but like it's cr like who makes that decision at all the movie should have just been s cross out the volcano part move the auction stuff forward you can even show the auction stuff but the dinosaurs are already in the world somewhere Maybe one got out by accident. Maybe some crazy person let it go. Maybe you even show that. That could be a very interesting scene. You could have the entire auction thing, and you can have, like, the dinosaurs just escape, and yeah. they kill everyone at the auction. Yeah. And then on the news, it's like, oh, shit, the dinosaurs killed all these mega wealthy white people because yeah. all of them were, like... Well, but that's the other thing, too. A dinosaur is worth, like, a billion dollars. Not four million. Yeah, it's insane that they were thinking they were going for, like, ten or something. That like one, like, <laughs> that one new dinosaur that they made, that yellow dinosaur. It went dinosaur. for 37. That's right. what it said on the screen. Like, what are you talking 37 about? 37 million dollars for a genetically engineered. And then also, it, why aren't you throwing in the clone? Like, is cloning outlawed? Or is it uh, was it only made possible in that lab too because i think human cloning like goes first unless cloning is a, a thing that happens all the time in this in this world but like would like do human cloning before dinosaur like s selling that's what i'm saying who like, wouldn't what, want the cloning technology what present are we living in because like we have cloning you're right we have cloning we have dinosaurs are created we have a cool park so then it just seemed like they were still trying to make it sort of now. Yeah, but they make the future not so futury. Right. Like it's just, you know, it's, it's like, like maybe in five, five years. years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> However, I will say I do love seeing dinosaurs just attacking. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. I'm on board. Yeah. And they had a lot of animatronic dinosaurs that weren't CG, which was which was very nice. They didn't notice. I don't know how to tell that. Yeah, like the T Rex and the thing wasn't, you know, that wasn't CG, and okay. you can you can just tell like how the skin looks and stuff, hmm. the way they move and whatnot. Hmm. So they're still doing animatronic ones, but yeah, it's like it's like this movie's just it's like they want to make. Uh, you know, everyone wants to be Marvel, I guess, but they're trying to set up this n next movie before you, everyone even is finished watching the movie that they paid to see, you know? Yeah. So it's like it's like they're uh, betting against this movie for the next one. They're like, well, you know, even if it's not that good, this movie is going to be even better. So you should definitely come back in two years when this movie comes out. You'll be really excited. And they're trying to make all the dinosaurs like Marvel as well. They're they're like superheroes in this one, 
like blue becomes like an avenger yeah like yeah. and then they just let blue go like why wouldn't blue wouldn't that be a cool movie with Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, clone daughter, and Blue the raptor driving in that last scene. And they all look out and see the birds flying, and Blue sticks her, her head up. Wouldn't that be a, a good button to that? But no, she has to be roaming. Uh, Pete! Yeah, they wanted to the like try to make it <laughs> the original dinosaur. The original Jurassic Park. They tried to make it like funny and relatable with the ro romantics and also with the assistants but then they tried to make it like so unbelievably complicated with the cloning then they tried to make it yeah. scary with the dinosaurs but they never noticed like they didn't take a moment to just be like wow this shit is weird like they just wanted to make it still seem like it could actually happen they yeah. didn't like cross that bridge of being like if we're if we're talking about a clone daughter and this new dinosaur that you can point a sniper gun at and yeah. then make a chirping noise and then it just like locks on like we just created that why don't you just make it a little bit like a little more outlandish it's already so yeah it just took it was like serious but it wasn't that was, like, was that, tame, that's the whole toneless thing that's what i'm saying Hi. pete how are you you gotta scratch his butt for that here wait no hold it up pete <laughs> Wow. Kind. <laughs> okay. He's wow. Up, he's done. Pizza the cat right here, everyone. Pizza the cat. So let's do characters for a sec. Who did you what like you the mean? most? I like Chris Pratt. I still do. I don't know why. But uh, Jeff Goldblum was was good. Wish I would have seen more of him though. Yeah, the villain was was bad, like the uh, hunter, you know, Trump supporter guy that I, you know, that they're trying to make him make him be or whatever. Well, the other villain I didn't like either. That British rich kid guy. Why I don't I didn't care. Like he was just like. <sighs> Yeah. Let me pretend to build a sanctuary. You should have just built the sanctuary. Like, I would have just rather seen a movie about building the sanctuary. Yeah. But they instead, they had they to be like... They should have just built it and made that Jurassic Park 2. Yeah. But no, we got to weaponize the dinosaurs. Got to be weapons. I don't understand weapons. how the dinosaurs are... Like, they're not good either at being, like, weapons. The T-Rex is the best uh, weapon in the Jurassic Park world. Like... They uh, the the T Rex always comes in at the perfect moment to save the day always, but the all the ones that they make just suck. Like the that raptor thing, it couldn't even kill the little girl, the little clone girl. No, it could not. It can't. It it could only kill the dude that it was caged up with. It couldn't bite through a trunk of a model set. Like the model, like they had like all the skeletons yeah. and like the set pieces that were like. Right, the there museum he's displayed. Right, at the thing. museum, he couldn't even bite through that fake trunk of yeah. a tree. Yeah, yeah it, it wasn't that impressive. But also, they didn't, that's the other thing. Why would you introduce this dinosaur and make it seem as though it's like this horror movie monster y antagonistic thing, but only introduce it at the very, very, very end? Like, you could have moved it up. Like, you could have. It could have been so cool to go from that very first scene with the dinosaurs, you know, harvesting the DNA, cut straight to the thing existing. Yeah, and then it's and just like, sold. whoa, shit. That been cool. Yeah, and that would be like a crazy yeah. moment where they're like off in the, in the desert somewhere, like undisclosed desert, selling off, not Northern California. They're in some, you know... Uh, Area 51 type. Yeah, somewhere. Like, you, you're just, like, off the... Ma you know, that's in, like, in the Hollywood Hills or something they're doing this. And it's like, you can't ship a, a T-Rex through Burbank or something mm -hmm. or wherever the hell you're at. But uh, that's, that, that would have been so cool. And then you can set up all the horror scenes. And then, and then all of a sudden, you know, Chris Pratt and them might be brought back in. But maybe we follow around uh, the Franklin and... Uh, Rodriguez or whatever, Danielle, Danielle Pinella or whatever. Oh, like what they could have done was have that would have been fun. The auction. I agree. I'm building on it. Right. What they could have had was the auction 
Um, and then at the auction, they realize that this dinosaur they created was too powerful. Right, and that dinosaur cool. escapes. And then it starts wreaking havoc on the earth. And that's when Chris Pratt is like, I'm the only one who knows how to tame these raptors. Maybe yeah. I can do something about it. And they all just kind of assemble together. And Bryce Dallas Howard like feels bad because she was part of the original Jurassic World that right. caused this to happen. Yeah. And then it's more about hunting this... And then they could be like, oh, my gosh, Blue's also here. Blue's going right. to help us. But I know. Yeah, that'd be cool. Didn't do that. That'd be a cool scene where they're cornered. Then all of a sudden, Blue comes out. Yeah. And they didn't have anything. You know, they had no con. And they're like, oh, my God. Blue, right. remember this whole time? She's the smartest dinosaur. And then you discover yeah. all that stuff. Then, instead of hyping, it's like, Blue, all these videos of like, well, right. as we all know, yeah. Blue's the smartest dinosaur. But also, she's best friends with Chris Pratt. And like understands human emotions somehow, and yeah. will just and will be friends with you because she knows that you're a good person, and and you're just like no, like this is a predator. Yeah, just let her show up and help her pack leader guy, that you know is is like the yeah he's calling all the shots, and she's just like a they set it up because they set it up in the other movie, the Jurassic World one that they're a part of a pack like the Alpha. Uh, you know, Beta, yeah. the Blue, and Charlie, and Delta, or whatever. I forget all their names. Delta was one of them, I think, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, yeah, that'd be, like, weirdly cool. And then you have, like, a dinosaur sidekick weapon thing to help you get through this crazy new world of other dinosaurs running around this crazy mansion property. And then it could be also, like, so maybe let's say in this few in this version... Chris Pratt and the girl and Bryce and somehow all of this like the computer technician they all get together because they're good as a as a group like I got where like their yeah. chemistry was um so like they get together and then maybe Blue gets shot while trying to save yeah. them from the thing you know because like they're yeah, and then her veterinarian about. skills have to come in handy to right. to help Blue out then but then also it would be interesting because. You could kind of see Blue growing. The you could see like this intellectual dinosaur. I mean, I guess they kind of show that, but like growing like a relationship with her. Then, like you can make it scarier, yeah. And like trying to kill his friends, but just like keeping him alive or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reason. Like, she's scary. Yeah, he's like snapping at, at right. all of them, and and Chris Pratt has to be like, back up, get behind me, you know, pretend you're. Pretend you're lower than uh, than us or something. Yeah. Like get in a fetal position, and Blue has to sniff it out and like be like, "All right, you're subordinate to me. You're not going to challenge me." And it's me and old Owen or whatever his name is, and we're we're the two Raptors in this game. But and then that could have been fun. They just had these this tranquilizer gun that they sedated every friggin' dinosaur. It was just yeah, just sedate them. That's the answer for everything. Like yeah. when movies just write off problems, sedate them. Yeah, remember in the first Jurassic Park with the raptors in the kitchen sequence? And, you know, they try, they, so that was the big thing. Like, this movie's riding off of nostalgia, like every, these remakes kind of do. But, but they would go nostalgia. right back to literally pulling down the service thingy, uh, you know, s sliding that thing down to get it. And they had the same exact shot of whenever, um, the girl I, I Maisie. Used, I used to, yeah, but I used to remember the, the l the boy in Jurassic Park's name I forget his name. Oh, I don't remember. But that it's was. the same. Or no, maybe it was also the maybe that was the little girl shot. Yeah, where she's in the reflection. Claire. Was that her name? In it? I think it was. No, Claire was the new. This Claire. Oh, yeah, dang it! What was her name? name? What her name was Claire? I, I can't remember. That. I will have to rewatch Jurassic Park. We but, do have to watch that. But they even talk, took the same shot when the, she's pulling down the the thing, the sliding door thing, and they use the same exact sound effects at the end with the T Rex breaking through. The zoo uh, lion cage exhibit. They had the same snapping cable effect that he or that she would do, breaking through that. When? Remember at the end with the montage that you're talking about, like the dinosaurs out and oh yeah 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 got the it. Fe the the female T Rex was yeah yelling at the lion. Yeah. Use the same exact sound effects of the cable snapping from Jurassic Park 1 whenever the T-Rex breaks through all the cables and the word twang, 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 that sound effect. And there's so many different callbacks, like so many. And yeah, it's riding off of nostalgia. Maybe just, uh, you know, come up, do either either execute those types of scenes with the same tone and stuff. That that would be 
good. Yeah, I like that. I like that scene though with the dinosaur and the lion roaring at each other cuz like lions are kind of like our biggest king of the right jungle. Now. Exactly. Versus and king now, of the dinosaurs. King of the world at this point. Yeah. And like, are we really supposed to just be okay? That this little girl doomed the entire planet. Yeah, the little. The only way that the next Jurassic Park, Seriously. Jurassic World, uh, whatever they'll call it, World Dinosaur Day or something like that, uh, is gonna be is gonna make sense is that Chris Pratt and, and D- Bryce Dallas Howard have to uh, m- go on the run with this criminal, this clone child criminal that doomed the world like how many people died on that first night that the dinosaurs got loose really and no one knew that there were dinosaurs in california the most populated part of america they, i mean that the the pterodons already made it to uh las vegas yeah so they're if they're covering like a good like 200 miles or whatever that is it's crazy but all of this aside, I will say it was a good summer popcorn film. That's the thing. Yeah, it's it's great. It, it's just a that's what it is. It's a great popcorn movie. You, you, Don't think too much into it. Yeah. You're gonna have a good time. Try to see it in a really good theater that maybe isn't uh, blowing out their speakers like the one that we went to. And also, if weird people <laughs> try to you know <laughs> just walk in the movie three fourths of the way through and just sort of stand around this old guy just watch their hands he literally he so we're sitting in the seats like this because we're in the first row because by the time we got there easily 18 minutes before the film started it was basically full yeah so uh, we're sitting in the first row not even that bad like i can deal with that yeah. and this old guy like halfway through the film just walks in like stops right in front of where the only people in the first row stops True. in front of my seat Kind of looks down at us, walks directly across the screen in front of us, keeps looking at us, and then sits at the very end. And the whole time, like, I missed, like, ten minutes of the film because I had to be like, what's this bro up to? Yeah, I missed the the grandpa die because uh, I had to wash the guy's hand, make sure he didn't have a gun, and I didn't have to go over and choke the shit out of him. And that's a bigger reflection on the country currently. Yeah. I never had to worry about that before. Yeah, I can't, I can't, you know, let someone creepy, uh, you know, walk around a movie theater. Don't do that. Just get in when you, I mean, I feel bad. sit down and watch the goddamn movie. Listen, maybe he had to go to the bathroom and he's old so he couldn't see in the dark and he got lost. But at the same time, don't stare at me. Just walk past. You know I'm not with you. You know he's not with you. Yeah, don't be creepy. Exactly. That's how you get kneecapped. Anyway, that was probably the most eventful part of this whole movie going experience. No, I I, I like yeah. I liked the I thought it started off amazing with the first scene. Thought that was and that's what makes me think like, oh yeah, Steven Spielberg because he's notorious for doing that. Steven Spielberg will and he was a producer on this, of course, the you know, he directed the first two I didn't two know that. movies. Oh yeah, it's still he still has a hand in in all of them. I know that. You know, he's still making money. But uh, it just felt too great, <laughs> like compared to the rest of them. No other scene in that movie executed as well as that whole first scene. That not even close. So it makes me wonder, like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, because that one, that was like, that was truly scary. Yeah, it like was that great. was truly like these people. That, I mean, I didn't even care about them. Like, they weren't Chris Pratt. They weren't Bryce. Right. They were none of those people. And, like, I was like, come on, guy, get to the chopper. Yeah, get that on dude, that ladder. That dude was come a on. good good yeah. actor and good dialogue I for him. And a about g- them. Good situation. <laughs> In that moment. And that's what uh, made Jurassic Park, like, amazing. The original is, is that it's just full of sequences like that. Yeah. It it's just is just really well executed all around by a, a you know just the legendary director and yeah you can't go wrong but then now all these movies are trying to do something different and now it's a now it's basically dinosaur superhero movie so in our new film i also would like the shot like whenever they want to go back to um, the volcano erupting, so like we don't see any of that happen. We just come back to Earth and the volcano's erupted. Maybe right. in like a flashback sequence, like when they're kind of explaining, like, oh, this volcano erupted, and now the dinosaurs are here, whatever. I did like that one shot. I'll insert it back into our version right. of the Stegosaurus 
the long is that the stegosaurus long neck and which one has a long neck the, the brontosaurus brontosaurus you know and like the lava is falling oh, down the hill at the brontosaurus